This video will perform the diffusion experiment using an auger plate, potassium aragonate, and methylene blue. The distance measured will be every 10 minutes for a total of 60 minutes. So I'll flip open my plate and add the solids. Methylene blue. And potassium permanganate. I tried to make them approximately the same size. Now I can flip my plate over and sort of measure my initial starting size, which for the methylene blue appears to be 8 millimeters. And for the Potassium permanganate appears to be about seven millimeters. And now I set a timer and measure this every 10 minutes. It has been 10 minutes. We will measure our substances again. Methylene blue is at 9 millimeters. The potassium permanganate is at 15 millimeters. I will record my data and then in 10 minutes measure again. It has been 10 minutes. I will take a, another measurement. The methylene blue is at 10 millimeters. I record that and I will measure the potassium permanganate, which appears to be. About 16 or 17 millimeters. I'll wait 10 more minutes and take another measurement. So it's been 10 more minutes for a total of 30 minutes, and I'll take another measurement. Methylene blue still is at right about 10 millimeters, so I'll record that. And the potassium permanganate, oops, the area that we were measuring, is now probably around 20 millimeters. So we have 30 more minutes to take measurements.
It's been 10 more minutes, and I will take another measurement. Methylene blue is still right around 10 millimeters. The potassium permanganate still appears to be right around that 20 millimeters. So we'll wait another 10 minutes and then take a reading. In 10 more minutes, and I'll take another measurement. The methylene blue still looks like it's right around 10 millimeters. The potassium permanganate. Maybe it's up to... 22 millimeters. I'll wait 10 more minutes and then that will be our final reading in 10 minutes. It has been 10 minutes for a total of 60 minutes and I'll take my last measurement. The methylene blue appears to be 11 millimeters. The potassium permanganate appears to be about 25 millimeters. And that has been 60 minutes worth of measurements, so you're now able to calculate your rate of diffusion.